Whitney, uh, I'm trying to get this done, but it's been a crazy week. Still, in a way I'm glad, because it's given me the chance to think about what I need to say. Hey, Clark. Hi, Lana. I thought I'd give you a hand with the repairs. Thanks. Um, good news is, I think we're almost ready for our grand reopening. What's the bad news? I still can't figure out how to use an espresso machine. It looks very Italian. It's a gift from Lex, along with roses, and an offer to rework our partnership agreement so that this could never happen again. Lex told me what happened with Miss Atkins and your dad. It's lucky you were there. It's funny how she managed to seduce everyone but you. Yeah, I guess she just wasn't my type. And the jailhouse? How did you manage your escape? Well, there was a fire, and the sheriff opened the door. I guess I just made a run for it. Three fires? You were there all three times. Weird coincidence, huh? Or just part of the mystery that is Clark Kent. How's it going with the uh, tape for Whitney? I decided to tell him how I really feel. What happened to putting on a brave face? wasn't fair to either of us. I haven't been honest about my feelings. I know it's gonna hurt and my timing is crummy, but having a relationship that's built on secrets and lies is doomed to fail. Don't you think so, Clark? Absolutely. Looks like the heat wave's finally broken. I'm glad. Yeah, me too. I should let you finish. Um... Bye, Lana. Bye. Whitney, I care about you very much, and I always will. But we promised that we'd be honest with each other, and the truth is,